Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Jack here. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, welcome to the channel. Tonight we have, after uh, Fortnite's absence, absent, absence, not absence, a Fortnite of absence, uh, an absence uh, from the Ningbo uh, race two weeks ago. All right, let's go back. Um, so I can race. Um, I'm back. I am back. And tonight we're racing around the Suzuka Grand Prix circuit. What's up, Flat Cap? How's it going, man? Uh, in the WTCR Championship, hosted by RR Leagues. Um, I'm racing in the Honda. The Honda. What's up, Anna? How's it going? Uh, <laughs> um, I'm racing in the Honda Civic with my teammate Daniel O'Brien. Uh, it's going to be nice. It's going to be a nice race. Car feels really, really good. Uh, pace is very, very slow. So it should be a fun evening. Let's uh, get ourselves into the lobby. Wapa! Look at that. That is what we're driving. Only two seconds and uh, let's do a thing. Do a thing real quick. Honda Power! It is indeed Honda Power. It's going to jump into the pre race briefing chat. As to not have my wrist slapped. By the stewards. <coughs> Excuse me. And also just need to do this, do that, click on there, click over here, do the thing there, post that in here, boop. And Bob's your uncle. I think Bob's your uncle. Fanny Durant. Uh, why is this not working? What's going on? And work. It may work, I'll leave it, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Fonz is your uncle. The Fonz has one cool ass uncle. Right, let's actually get into this lobby. Oh my god, what, what's going on here? Here we go. So, this is the bad boy. Here she is. What time are we at? 30 years. We've got about s seven or six minutes until the briefing starts. Uh, qualifying is going to start at um, 8 p.m. GMT on the money. I believe we're back to the Super Bowl qualifying format after two weeks ago. Robert is your brother's mother. <laughs> that's, that's the way you say it. Um, yeah, I, I think at Ningbo, uh, two weeks ago, they, they changed the format and just had an open qualifying. I believe it's back to to the Super Bowl. So we uh, we shall see. Uh, I'm going to go out and do a little practice. Uh, um, Super Bowl fuel lap. Uh, and see how the car feels. Oh, shit. Do that and do this. All right. Uh, and also see where my pit box is as well, because I don't really know where my pit box is at. Green flag, you're clear. The pit exit is clear. Push now. Blue flag. We've got cold brakes all round. So, the Suzuka jam. circuit in Japan. Pretty famous circuit, this. Most race fans will know it very well. This famous S is going uphill here. We have the Ferris wheel on the right hand side. It's a spectacle at night time. I'll go here. Uh, looks like the barbershop was open uh, in the UK. Yeah, the barbershop was open in the UK. It certainly was. Yeah, everything's still open here, man. Um, Hey birds, ma. How's it going, ma'am? Thanks for tuning in. You are not able to race tonight, Andre. There might be a space, you know, for you to get in. I think a few people have pulled out last minute. I know somebody just posted in Discord that they can't race because they've they've hurt their back. They've got the same disease as me. Maybe if you uh, DM Simon real quick, you might be able to get in for a race, man. If you jump in the Civic, I'll give you my setup.
And you, Martin, actually. Remember, you're back racing. You fancy a shot of these front wheel drive beasts? There may well be a space. Maybe a couple of spaces. Maybe both of you can get in. 20 minutes remaining. You've got 20 minutes left. Two or three spots. Not fancy racing yourself, Martin? Practice pit entrance here. It's a dodgy pit entry, like. Where is it? This light here. And what is the pit speed limit? Engage limiter, box 80. Okay, so it's actually quite. Meters. It's actually quite, uh, quite fast. Okay. Time we are. Uh, oh, I've still got enough time to maybe do one more, uh, one more lap. Uh, I don't even have Ningbo. Elbows are itching though. Uh, yeah, man. Elbows <laughs> are itching. Uh, all good. Yeah, could. But we suck bad with front wheel drive without practice, probably. Ah, I suck bad with practice. So <laughs> it's fine, man. Yeah. How many have we got in here? Twenty nine in so far. So yeah, there's still, still um seven spaces left. I like a good door rub. Yeah, me too, man. Nothing like a bit of door rubbing. Now I quickly take you all on a little lap around here. And give you my track synopsis before the briefing's about to start. There's traffic behind. Watch your mirrors. So this is start fish straight, leaving the pits here on the right hand side. Uh, plummeting down at the first and second corners, it's down and then up. You almost take, you take it like one big corner, but it is two separate corners. And then you've got the S's going uphill. And these are a lot tighter than you think they are. You really cannot go full throttle through here. You need to just balance the car through them. A little bit easier in front wheel drive cars actually, because you just drag the vehicle around with you. Shift up early as you come up the Dunlop curve. Oh, and you want to go as fast as possible, but the track's slightly off camber. So you get sucked out to the out the, the outside on the right. And uh, I suspect many people are going right there. We've got this uh, double right-hander coming down and under the bridge. Some brutal curbing that you want to cut, but try not to unsettle the car too much. And then that little kink before this left-hand hairpin, it throws you off because you kind of need to start braking right after you go past the kink. So. If you haven't straightened up the wheel, then you are going to lock up the the, the, the wheels because there's no ABS on these cars. It's so very easy to lock up. Then another long double left-hander, this time running out super wide. And we carry as much speed out of there as possible because you've got this other little Back straight again, undulations, track going up, elevating, and then here, keeping the car in fifth, little dab of the brakes for the fastest corner on the track, and one of the fastest corner in a lot of motorsport disciplines, 130R. Down at the second for the final hairpin, don't want to break too late in these, like I did there. And then over at the start finish line, plummeting downhill. So it's good, the car feels good on uh, race fuel actually. And I can actually take one litre out and it'll still feel pretty good I think. It'll still get me around there, so I think that's what, what we're going to do. Good evening gents, it's just in time, the briefing's about to start. Okay, time to the driver briefing. Is anybody having any trouble <coughs> getting in the server? We're all in our we? Nobody is in the briefing room that isn't in the server. Well, I'm just coming in now, mate. <laughs> Here he comes. So it's Ricky Bobby. So tonight is a race of Japan at the iconic Suzuka circuit. The See if we can get someone on track to watch. Course. Not to since it's Thiago. Back in Let's watch Thiago. 
This first half is purely technical, characterised by its corners complexity, well, where drivers must master the flowing combination. While its last, last half is all about speed, featuring a wide combination of slow, okay, medium and fast cars. Got a few guest drivers with us again this evening. Always welcome to these people. Cautious that there's any major incidents out there. Uh, the race is once again being streamed on our YouTube channel with expert commentary of Miguel, so let's make sure standards are high and the action is good. Uh, be sure to watch it back when you get a chance and to share. Yeah, folks, there's uh, uh, then, the set up, live broadcast usual, with commentary this evening as well over on the RR League's YouTube channel, so if you fancy uh, checking that out, damage. Stop, What's up, Victor Man? How you doing, dude? Tires at usual in. times two, fuel times one. How are you today, man? Qualifying, we're back to the standing start, so more on that in a moment. In game text chat, strictly prohibited from any time past the moment to past the qualifying session, so keep off the text chat, please. Pits, pit lane, uh, pit speed limit here is 80 kilometers per hour. Entry and exit relatively straightforward, but uh, yeah, get a bit bored today. Speed limit oh, yeah, man. It's entry soon yep. upon you, so as ever, advice is to practice that. The rumor mill is high with uh, what's going to happen in the UK. Apparently, Friday something's going to happen. Then, so, so uh, we've got to dish the super pole We shall see. Mara Flat Cap, the mod with the most. And that is a link to the RL we'll broadcast. Together. Thank you very much for posting that, dude. If you fancy some dual screening, then so that's if you're the one. on a hot lap, stay alert and make room for any drivers that are. If you are on a hot lap, uh, you must. So yeah, if you are on a hot lap, then uh, and you're faster than the guy. Nigel is here. Obviously on their hot lap too. Then unfortunately, you've got to back out. Uh, <laughs> nice, Martin. That sounds amazing. Back up. That's, right. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. The circuit. <laughs> Points are up to grabs for the fastest speed qualifiers as per usual. There's a track to ride with, uh, with a bike. The race then, the opening sprint race is for like 21 a little quad. minutes. The second feature race is 43 minutes in length. Both races are from a standing start. The second race featuring the top 10 reverse grid. Points are awarded for all finishers, so don't give up. Cooper no, does look good, doesn't it? No warm up sessions tonight, so uh, each session will pull. Lap one caution then. <laughs> Fairly long run down to turn one. Going to be in line with quite some speed. <coughs> Want to show varying amounts of caution. Fairly quick corners. Oh, cool man. <laughs> Need to con contacts due to speed differences, so just be mindful of that. Try and find the space. I bet you can still come over. You bring his. Uh, with the flow of the traffic. Just all got to be aware of the consequences of our actions. Uh, you are best to keep predictable. Hey, Mark, how's it going, man? Comedy here, the first sector. Thanks for tuning in, bud. Climbing and settling in before the track starts. No interest in racing today, Mark. Tough round for the stewards. Not an easy job. Standard slipped perhaps a little. So uh, let's remember to respect first winning second in our leagues. We all don't. We, we all want to do well, but uh, there's more satisfaction in being a clean, honest driver rather than someone. Get an action cam on with Nigel Wood here. So, as usual, steward and team will be the only oh, good, thanks for asking, man. Yeah, all good. Uh, keep him well. If you're involved in an incident, nice to avoid that, so the virus. I uh, hope you and the family are good as well, Marco, and everybody else in chat as well, man. I hope you are all well, keeping safe. Um, all your families and friends as well, man. Don't be stupid. Uh, hopefully, we can all get through this. Uh, we have some penalties tonight. Okay, no. Fortnight to go. Uh, Sergio Acqui, um, you have a drive-through penalty, and must drive through the. Tiago, how's it going, man? Tudo está. Hey, doing, man? You okay? Looking forward to the race tonight, dude. It's gonna be a good one, man. I'm looking forward to. It. And there are also no qualification penalties for Raymond Papai, Nuno, Miguel, and Rue, and myself. So, uh, we just are waiting in our pit boxes during the qualifying session. Yes, Tiago, you're back. I back. saw you on track, dude. Clear okay, angle. Well, just uh, check the position server. Right to spend. Does anybody have any questions? 
<laughs> until you see, clean until you see me. We're at 31 in the server, so Sven, I will see you in the in just a moment. And the last thing you need to do is wish you all the luck. Cheers, thank you. Thanks, Ag, good luck, everyone. Good luck, guys. Here we go. We're gonna get right into it, folks. What we got? Nine minutes until quality starts. Let's jump into uh, team chat. Oh shit! What's going on here? Oh. I think it's Super Pole Andre, that's what I'm trying to find out right now. Hmm. The problems with my connection to, uh... to work this time. I think Discord's having a fit. Hello? Oh, hello. Yeah, I can hear you now. We're connected, finally. Cool. All good. Right. So is it one? Sh is it Super Pole? Is it one shot? Did Did you hear from Sai? I couldn't hear Sai very well. It's It's standard pole, twelve minutes. Standard qualifying, twelve minutes. Is it? All right, cool, cool. All right, sweet. Oh, that's a bit better, to be honest. For me, anyway. I was practicing pit entry when you started. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay, so it's gonna... all right. The wall. The wall didn't. Know what was coming. Fifteen news. Try that. Hey John, how's it going, man? Thanks very much, dude. How are you, by the way? You all right, man? How's the foot? I feel like I've not seen you in ages, man. Um. So yeah, I reckon we'll get five if you stick go out at the beginning and stay out. I reckon we'll get five time laps in. If I can get a two thirteen. Yeah, oh. yeah. I mean, I'm, that was me doing two thirteen on um, on race fuel. So hopefully, with lower fuel, it'll be better. What? That was me doing two thirteen on qualifying. Was it? Ah, good. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, <laughs> good for me. <laughs> yeah, man. I always do everything on on race fuel. So I've got 15 liters in now. That's me for five laps. So we'll see. What about going to the shops? Do you go to the shops on race fuel? Your taxi is clear. Yes, I go to the shops on race fuel. I drive past the shops to, to go to the petrol station to fuel up to then go to the shops. <laughs> so, <laughs> Pit crew comes flying out. <laughs> Changes the time. To put a number on it, it's about 92%. 92% downloaded, Jod. Good. I'm glad your foot is almost finished rendering. Will we see you back for Sunday's race, do you think? For Sunday's GT3 Masters race around Spa. Should be a good one, man. 100 minutes. One hour and 40 minute race are in Spa coming up this Sunday. In the GT3 Masters Championship. Cool job. Nice, nice, nice. 
Of course you did, Nord, so I remember. It's because we were in different classes, that's why I, I don't remember seeing you. Because you were driving the Audi TT, right? Let's try and put in a couple of quick laps here. We've got just over four minutes left in this practice session, so got ten minutes of fuel remaining. might just get two time laps in. Probably not. One in almost a second. Ooh. Shit. Yeah, it's awesome. Nice. And John, have you uh, have you checked out that Jules uh, Championship for ACC? Uh, that's coming up in the future, and if you have, Hello, Black Sector Three. who are you going to team up with? When you asked me, by the way, yes, I have teamed up with the one and only Andre Bartsma. 17th place. So we got a new championship. Like I was just saying there to Jod folks, coming up at uh, Jules Team Championship in Assetto Corsa Competizione. Good on this slightly lower fuel. I wonder if I should go out in two stints. See, the problem is if you go out in two stints over qualifying, then you still have to do that outlap. Because if you go out and just stay out, then at least you can find yourself some Sector space, and then you just do the one outlap, and every other lap is a time lap. So I think yeah, I'm just going to go out and do one outlap, and then four time laps. And all the tires will be scrubbing off tread. At least they'll Yellow flag sector two. be getting more in rhythm. Had a look, but not sure. Might do the RWE uh, ACC championship. Yeah, man. Lots of uh, lots of leagues now taking on board ACC. Sector one is clear. Gone with the people's champion, Andre Mall. I think That's he'd be up, minutes up for it, man. Left. Two minutes. I think he'd be up for it. The 18. I love these first two corners, this is a command. Totally awesome. Shouldn't be that big of an issue tonight. First race being 10 laps and second race being 20 laps, estimated. Green flag sector oh, one. Do we only uh, are only going to need to have wear under 10% per lap. That's better that time. Right under the bridge. You're pissed you missed the Silverstone race. Yeah, right Silverstone race is pretty badass, man. There'll definitely be more from RR Leagues on the ACC front as well in the future. No, Hawaii's are really good. It's Jack, you've got half your fuel left. 
Right. Qualifying, here we go. Yeah, it was scary as fuck in the dark, that race. It was good fun, though. So yeah, 12 minutes of qualifying. Good luck in quality, mate. Um, I'm gonna go out and just stay out rather than do it in two stints. And just gotta find myself a nice gap. Uh, this championship, Jod, uh, coming up in ACC is teams of two, but just sharing one car. So one driver per car on track, so... Yeah. Pit lane speed limit uh, is heading out 80 now. kilometers per hour. With everybody else, their granny and their dog. Your exit's clear. Don't cross the white line. We have 11 minutes to set a lap. Get some heat into these brakes. Take it easy, you've got cold tires. So, quite a lot of people up in here now. I think we've got over 30 people in this lobby. Yeah, I knew, man. Good luck, dude. I'm just gonna stare for the whole thing. And hopefully, the guy behind and the guys in front create gaps to those around them as well. Stay sharp. Green flag, you're clear. Yellow flag, stay sharp. Green flag, all clear. Sector two is yellow. I guess I'll work with some ten minutes uh, to go. That's ten minutes some heat left. into these brakes and tires. Green flag sector one. Yellow flag sector one. Sector one is clear. So the guys around me are all being savvy Red enough to three. create some space. Sector one is yellow. All right, here we go. We think Oliveira is stacked in turn one. So we should get four flying laps, hopefully. If we go fast enough, we might only just get three actually. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Yellow flag, sector one is clear. Green flag, sector three. We've got somebody parked on the apex here. Not ideal. All right, clear right. I mean, come on. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Had to be on the, my first flying lap as well when I've got the most tread on my tires, obviously. Oh. Yellow flag in sector one. Green flag sector one. Yeah, let's see if I can get a thirteen in quality, that would be cool. But, uh, Oh no! It did the thing that I said I really don't want to do because it absolutely fucks your lap up. It's cutting into the apex of the hairpin too early. Stupid on mine. Alright, flag gap. Alright. Really hope the next two are going to be better than that because that was horrendous. Super messy lap.
12. So far, so good. Pretty happy with this lap. Let's see if I can finish it off. <laughs> this is rough. Yeah, it's, this track's all about flow. It actually has mad flow, but it's keeping it on there. Like, I messed up those two left-handers there. Didn't carry enough speed through them. Brake temperatures look good. All right, let's see if I can get 213. That would okay, be ideal. Anything faster would be great, but I don't think it's going to be there. Sector one. Sector one is yellow. 213.3, I'll it take that. Like it's gone up in the hairpin. Very little fuel left. That puts you not my tent at the leader's pace. Sector 1 is clear. Let's see if I can make an improvement. currently sitting in P29. He's a fast boy, currently in the top 10 overall in the championship, so he has got the pace on him, he's got the ability. Has he been held up by traffic? Has he had a mistake in qualifying? Will he be able to get himself up near the front of the grid for the start of the race to try and keep himself in contention in this championship? sector was a personal best. I think the last sector is probably going to be a personal best as well, but the first sector was slow. So I don't think this is going to be an improvement on my time, and I'm not going to have enough to go around. No. You're currently 1.1 seconds off the pace. All right, that's my qualifying over. Two minutes to go, two minutes. Let's get the car ready for the race. How many people have we got in? We're full. 
36. So Simon Fillingham, um, Nuno Miguel Abreu, and Raymond, I believe, have got no qualifying penalties. So they're going to be starting right at the back. I mean, 36 cars deep, man. Warm them elbows up, baby. Whoop, whoop. I'm getting warm. Where's my teammate at? 26. What's going on, DB? DB? Let's get, see if we can find him. He's probably just not been able to find space. Where is he? He's on track. Here he is. Come on, DB. Get across that line. Get yourself a little bit higher up. You can do this, bro. What's this time going to be? Oh, this is Outlap. Not sure what time he got there. Let's get back on the timing screen and have a look. Don't think he made an improvement there. I think he had a hard time. You get caught in traffic. Nah, mate. Just had a mare. No, dude. <laughs> I tried the default, that was that time that I set on the default, yeah. and then completely forgot how to drive the qualified. No! <laughs> Shit! Checkered flag, 14th. Well, you've got Nigel Wood right in front of you, right next to you, so it's going to be uh, hardcore battling straight from the get-go. Mind to get your fuel in. Good luck, dude. <laughs> and you, man. Good luck. Have fun, man. We do. We need Danny up there, man. So where did I get in then? At the end. So we've got launch control for the car. We're going to be using that. Thank you, Andre Bergsberg. Thank you, Anna. <sighs> Quite looking forward to this. I really like Suzuka. Oh! Somebody in front, Houdini. Disappearing. So we've got two races tonight for anyone who didn't catch that. First race, um, 21 minute race. Second race, 43 minute race with a top 10 reverse grid. I qualified P14. Get ready. Here we go. Your nose clean. Green, green, green. Left side, three wide, you're on the right. I don't need to shift just now while I've used launch control, but as soon as I let off the accelerator or dab the brakes. Still there. Still there. Yellow flag, sector one. Still there. Clear left. Stay out of trouble. Try and pick up any places wherever I can. Yellow flag, stay sharp. Left side, clear left. Green flag, you're clear. Someone spanned in the hairpin. Someone spanned in the hairpin. Yeah, I'm just fucking hit you. and get back facing the right direction. Car right. 
Still there. Still there. Sector three is yellow. Hold your line. Right side's clear. I've got a second to breathe. That was a sweet move past Top Gun Horn in there, must admit. Sector one is yellow. Oh, something's going well by it here. Green flag sector one. It's Vlasti in the golf ahead now. It's up to P11 from P14. Not bad, but get myself into that top 10, ma'am. Then, no, give me boost. Reversed. For the second race, that'd be nice. Let's not count our chickens just yet. This is the first start of a race there, folks. Pretty exhilarating stuff, eh? <laughs> See, this is what's so cool about these cars, man. Like, they're just, everyone's so close together, like, all throughout the field. It's awesome. Little dab of the brakes as we turn in here. Oh! Oh, last is. Oh, way offline here! Yeah, it's gone not too bad, eh, Andre Bergsman? Not too bad at all. Hey, guys, if you are enjoying this, do me a favor. Boom! And then a thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much. Woo! like is worth one BHP and I need all that extra BHP I can get. Incident in sector one. Sector one is yellow. Jazz. How's it going, Mano? How do you keep him, dude? You well? Oof. Jazz, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the staff and admins, and the wonderful people at RR Leagues, the people who are hosting this evening's event. Jazz is super helpful and all around good dude. You should check out his YouTube channel. He also posts videos from time to time in both race room and a set of course a competizione. So David Kukurek behind is catching up and I am losing ground to Vlastimir Lukas in front. which means my driving sucks. So let's try and rectify that. Let's remedy that. <laughs> yeah, man. Just keep it smooth, no mistakes. Now this rate, I might need to actually take the t-shirt off for the second race. <laughs> Yellow 
Definitely detects sarcasm in Anna's comment there. It's Nigel Wood in P17. Where's O'Brien? U28, 7, 12.7 seconds behind. So, teammate Daniel O'Brien, quite a ways back in P28, but it's only 12 seconds down the road for me. This shows you how tightly... <laughs> certainly sarcasm, yes. Uh, just shows you how tightly grouped everyone is on the track. Now and starting to slowly chip away at the guys in front and pull away from the guys behind. We just need to keep this up. You had an incident with Rick at the hairpin. Ah, green flag sector one. Oh, it was a uh, Danny boy that had the Rick, the incident with Rick. Yellow flag. Incident clear. Green flag. Why are you in the chat? Are you not racing? No, that turn one was only on the hand of the wheel. <laughs> like a real man. <laughs> How is it going, Randy? Are you okay? Oh shit, that's a little bit of it. Stay sharp. Green flag, you're clear. Gravel there. Oh shit! That was a big mistake. And now Kokurik behind is firmly in the slipstream of me. Sector two. Silly mistake. Clear. I'm lucky that I managed to. Hang on to that, to be honest. Oh, looks like Kohonen there. Had a little look up the inside of Kokurek. That's quite confusing. So, hot battling going on behind me here, folks. Still race two. Yeah. No, still race two. Oh my god, we're only halfway. Into race one just now. And then race two is twice as long, Jesus Christ. As nice a combo as it is, that is not going to be an easy task. Turn! Shit. Yeah, reverse grid. Top 10 reverse grid jobs. 
so I'm hoping somebody in front has an accident so I can just sneak into that top 10. That would be ideal. Otherwise, I'll be starting from P11. If I hope manage to maintain that posi this position, that is. Thanks, so, Randy. Oh, that's slightly out of limits, but it's all right. We're all friends here. Sector one is yellow. The battle in front's not going to last. I don't know, man. Even if it doesn't last, I've got David and Tom one is right clear. behind me. And then Colin just behind them as well. Yeah, this position isn't a given. I need to stop making mistakes. Great for the front tires there. Definite wheel spin there, but managed to get away with not putting the car into the gravel. Very lucky. Not that time again, though. Okay, Jack. Don't let this guy distract you. David's got the run on me this time. You're right. He's on the right hand side. Still there. Oh, all right. Hold your line. Clear right. Car left. Clear left. Just went to the chicane with him. Just went a little bit too slow. So Colin is now nice to get past Tom behind me. He's in the Peugeot. And Tom instantly regained that position. If Colin made a mistake or not. Can't quite look, look in the rearview mirror at the minute. your moment for me locking up the tires <laughs> colliding at the top there sorry Tom left 
side. Clear left. Nah, it was my fault. I like locked up the tires and just went straight ahead and into Tom. And I can feel that I have a flat spot now. You guys can probably hear it as well. Just rumbling away. Which mainly means it's not too bad just now, but I've got to be really careful because if I lock up the tires uh, again, it's going to lock up on that flat spot. And uh, it's going to make it even worse. Three minutes left, so probably two more laps. to get back past Colin, man. He's on a mission! This would be pretty good if we could hang on to it. I'd be happy with it. Wouldn't make it into that reverse grid, but... Pretty heated. God damn, it's one. We're running on fumes, mate. Say there from Tom, but it's managed to hold on to it. Green flag sector one.
Oh, we're gonna slow me the car here. Oh no! <laughs> oh well, there we go. Looks like the car in front of me. P12. Nice to get up into uh, P10 there. So P12 for me. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and you, Randy, man. Good luck for the next race. Hope, um, hope you have better luck this time, man. Man, I kind of need to go to the toilet, but I don't think there's enough time. Oh. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Pff, look at all these cars. Jesus. That was tough, man. That was that was a tough race. So I think I'll put a couple extra liters in for the second race. It's a 43 minute race, the next race, but um, yeah, it's probably going to be 20 laps rather than 21 laps, given that uh, we'll have that pit stop in the middle to change all the tires as well. Man, all the action. Nothing but action. <laughs> WGCR is crazy, man. It is nuts, man. It's pretty terrifying. Yeah, I'm sure... Uh, I'm sure the shirts will have a good look at the, uh, the incident there with Tom and I at the hairpin when I locked up. And um, they will make... Uh, an informed decision as to what should happen. Hashtag good close racing. Nice man, thank you. So Mike Stockfield, kind of no surprise there. He is a fast boy. All right, here's the next race then. Yeah, that was like insanely difficult that first race. Yeah. <laughs> 60, I need 62 liters. I'm gonna take 64. I'm gonna take 64 liters for this. Gonna take 69. Hopefully. Oh, I'll sexy. Crashed into. Yeah, hopefully. Man, need the toilet. Hands are insanely sweaty and wet. No wonder my wheels get so messed I'm up. Right man. at the back, man. Well, nearly. Only, only going forward then, bud. Only going forward. Hopefully. Oh my God! All of the cars God. are levitating. <laughs> levitating <Okay>. cars. <laughs> get ready. Uh, good luck, dude. That's hilarious. Here we go. Green, green, green. So, top 10 reverse grid. It's so all the cars you see directly in front of me right now are the cars that finished at the, f the, the, the first end, the podium end. Oh man, the first race. Yeah, the real quick boys. So, tires are cold at the minute. Maximum grip. Incident in sector one. Sector one is yellow. through the hairpin this time. Just looking in my rearview mirror. It looks like everyone's made it through this time okay. At least as far back as I could see. Sector one is clear. Yellow flag. Green flag. Big slidey boy there. I'm not sure who that was, but... We got past, we got a few of us, it might have been Magnus Smedegaard. 
green flag, sector two. Oh, contact in front. All right. Clear right. Contact here. Incident in sector three. Sector three is yellow. From Tom behind. Somebody sector falling asleep up in front. Janko, you're falling asleep, bud. Wakey, wakey. Fucking ass hat. It's happening. Somebody being reckless. Sector one is yellow. Sven Heck, man, came on track and came pulled straight in front of me while I was breaking. Yeah, not ideal. Yes, yeah, Sven. Now my brake pedal stuck on. Stuck on? <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Green flag sector one. And somebody just decided to like it. Jacko Vaughn seems there again, it's not enough. Yeah, that turn one drifting. My great fucking rubber failed. Is this the, the, the BDSM one or whatever? Yeah, the split. I can see it. It's funny, the, the BBJ, not BDSM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, mine did it while I was racing as well. Many times. Sector 3 is clear. It's completely split. It's like hanging out the side of the brake pedal. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, for those of you who are not aware of what uh, my teammate Danny White is on about, he's got some uh, brake performance uh, the rubber dampers for his uh, CSL uh, pedals from a company in the UK called BBJ. And I had uh, a similar set for my old Thrustmaster set of T3PA Pro pedals. Um, I had, I went through, I, yeah, I went through four different sets because they kept on breaking on me and failing on me. I uh, decided after the fourth time just to use the one that Thrustmaster included, which is a much harder compound rubber, but at least it didn't break. Anyway, but more recent times, they have, uh, designed some for the Fnatic pedals, which Danny Boy has been trying out recently. And uh, you begin on a right with them, uh, but they appear to have just failed on him during this race. And now his brake pedals stuck on. <laughs> that was terrible. Jaws, you split one of the original Fanatec rubbers. Had to glue it back together. Do you not get any spears, man? That is late breaking. That is a cut track. Yellow flag. Clear. Incident clear. On your right. Gonna let Tom pass. Clear right. Clear right. Cut the track there, but 
still there. Colin's also got You're past right. as well. No, all right, Raymond's Jack. next. Uh, so it's so gonna... Oh, don't let him get away. 13th place. Car left. Hold your line. Clear left. It's our pal Clive, right behind. He's also a Japanese import boy. Means he's, he's driving the Honda Civic as well. Damn it! Clive! Stop feeling my goddamn mirrors. Freaking me out. Oh yeah, you have got spirit rubbers, job, but they're all different strands. Yeah, they'll be all different uh, durometers. Do you use the heavier ones or the lighter ones? Which ones split on you? I've changed them and it's still on. It's probably because, it'll be because they've split and you've pushed the pedal further than it usually goes, which means the calibration's gonna be off now, I reckon. You'll need to recalibrate the pedals or like unplug your pedals and plug them back in. The DB do repairs at the side of the road, like a proper champ. like Clive behind got himself in a spot of bother and Jim's managed to get past. Use the weak ones to get more travel out of the pedal. I see. But it's a load cell though, George, yeah? You just prefer that um, the travel rather than having like just controlling like the pressure with the shorter travel. I'm like, I'm the opposite. I like, I like the short travel and I just control the, uh, the input with like, the amount of pressure that I'm uh, applying onto the, the pedal. It's not like a tiny travel, but I have my brake pedal relatively short. Very, very strong. To, uh, to depress, it's going to apply a lot of force. A little bit of preload, so a little soft bit of preload at the beginning, just a little bit. Which just simulates like, one is clear. the gap between the pads clamping onto the discs. Uh, my teammate Daniel O'Brien's left, oh no! That's a, that's a really unfortunate evening for my teammate. Don't know if we'll hear from him anymore in the chat. But yeah, he may well join us on the stream chat, so... I came from the T3 PA pros with the load cell, and just, yeah, I used to do so much travel. Yeah, man. It's really unfortunate for Danny Boy. Oh, another DNF, Mike Suski. Come on, can't make it easy for him. Make him go the long way around. Yellow flag, sector one. Yellow flag. Green flag, all clear. It's 
okay. It's okay. Same as that. Jazz and Jod is like you just have to uh, you just have to get used to it. And at first, it's terrible. You know, even me with like I've been using this sparkle wheel for such a long time now, and I've just put together a whole new steering wheel. And you might think, oh, it's just a steering wheel. You're just holding it with your hands, but like the different shape and the different diameter and the button layout, man. When I first started using it, I was like, Jesus, man, like I'm. Nowhere near as quick, and definitely nowhere near as comfortable using it, but you just persevere and then the muscle memory starts to kick in and everything becomes groovy. So it's exactly the same with the pedals as well. When I switched over to the Husing Belts, the all three pedals are load cell. Yeah, completely different travel, angle, uh, pressures, uh, I mean everything. To the TCPAs, they took, it took me not that long to get used to actually, but. Car left. Clear left. The gym just went in deep there, probably gave up too much room. Didn't need to do that. But he's uh, he's backed off, and I think he's letting Clyde by there. Speed kills, he fixed it, but couldn't continue. Oh, no, dude. I'm glad they're fixed, but... Yeah, it's, it wasn't your night, dude. Sorry, man. Oh! Turned in a little bit early there. Cool, it's a bit of grass cutting, it's all good. Meanwhile... Jim and Clive behind going side by side through the first portion of the S's. It's awesome. Green flag set to one. Oh. Je suis defending. Yellow flag, stay sharp. Look clear, incident clear. Oh! Cardinal not downshift there when I wanted it to. I do miss being able to pump the brake the way I used to with the T3PAs and then spring back. I have to say the logic that oh shit, I have to say the logic pedals are really good. But I like the reliability and okay, feel Jack. of the load cells. Yeah, Just man. keep it smooth, no mistakes. Here. I think all of us did it. <laughs> Still there. Clear left. Because Clive, sneaky boy. Incident in sector two. Sector two is yellow. Green flag. Sector two. He's loving it. It looks like he's loving it. It's gone off. The chicken that wiggle there. Man, this is fun. Yeah, muscle memory is much more precise rather than, yeah, the travel position memory. Shift protection in these is a little bit much if you ask me. 
Jim is uh, applying all the pressure on right now. Car right. Right side's clear. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Should have never have used them. Yeah. Try not to understeer into the gravel this time. Alright, P15 at the minute. Pits already. 25 minutes remaining still. Jim's got a good run on me here. Well, car right. Right side's clear. Car right. Clear right. Side by side there. Oh, just managed to keep it ahead of Jim. That's good. Good race in there. Medigard, who'd made that mistake early on in the race, has managed to claw his way back up now. He's only two positions behind me, currently P13. Question, I missed the question. Too busy doing a race. Something about, I have a question, do you guys rest your feet on the foot or kick the brake with your whole leg? Yeah, that is a good question. Um, for me, my heels are rested. Um, although they do certainly elevate off of the heel plate from time to time. Uh, but not that often, to be honest. Pretty much rested all the time. I do have my legs elevated, kicked up a fair amount, right, I would say. Right side. Not quite like Jeep uh, F1 C position, but this is familiar. Still there. He's still there. Hold your line. Oh, Clear right. a good pass there by uh, Jim. Done there, he was uh, he is faster than me. It was only a matter of time, can only defend for so long. Well, sector three, try and try and stick with him here. Yeah, like I was saying, I do uh, I do have my feet quite elevated, quite high. So for me, it's quite easy for me to rest my feet all the time. Well, that is at the kiss of death. <laughs> hey, Sai, how's it going, man? Yeah, shame you got that DNF, dude. What happened, man? Fill us in. 
Was it self-inflicted or was there another party involved? Because to be honest, the WTCR cars would freaking totally be just as much one or the other. Yeah, there have been. I don't know if there was... Were there many DNFs in the first race? I don't think so. Quite a, a few. Certainly a handful in this race. I need to pay attention to my tires and stuff. I don't know when I'm pitting. This is about the halfway mark, so... Maybe I should pit around about here. Car feels alright, though. Oh! Black sector one. Let's stay out. I think we'll come in this next lap, I think. Oh! Jim falling asleep there at the wheel. Green flag sector one, P5. Acknowledged. Pit stop requested. The car is still actually feeling pretty good, but we have just passed the halfway mark now, so the, the deeper we go. The more, the slower we're gonna go, I mean, we're just gonna be running on really used tires. I could have a fresh set on, but the good thing right now is that we do have a fair bit of fresh air. So, right, the other guys who appear early might find themselves in traffic, or everybody paying at the same time, they're coming together in a big group, so. Fuel's definitely not an issue, so could stay out until the tires completely go. Still have 19% tread remaining on the front. Oh, actually, I just remembered I only need to change the fronts, too, don't I? I don't need to change the rears as well. I need to find a place I can change that. Oops. There we go. <laughs> Just the fronts, please. Let's double check on that. I think I do the same jazz, hard braking with the whole leg, soft braking, resting the keel. Yeah, no qualification is brutal, man. That's really unlucky, man. I hope you had fun racing anyway, Simon. Okay, Jack. We expect there'll be no traffic on exit. We should come out into position 26. 26! I hope it's a bit better than P26 I come out of the goddamn pits. Can out. Holy shit! Boxing for 160 meters. I hate it when somebody's got the goddamn box right in front of you, right behind you. Let's see if we can get over in front of the gym. Jump Jim? We have jump Jim? And away we go! Clear. Incident in sector one. Sector one is yellow. So P17 we've come out in. Don't know if Jim maybe missed his pit box or maybe changing all four tires. He's only three and a half seconds behind though, so. 17. Excuse me, that was a little bit of a burp while I said that. <laughs> 17 minutes remaining on the clock in this second race of the evening. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. So plenty of fuel on board. Probably got enough for an extra three laps, actually. Jump over that curb like an indoor thing. Britain is gaining on you. The gap is now 2.7.
So we've got Tom Cahonan and Colin Baker, uh, Barker, sorry, not Baker, Colin Barker in front. It looks like Magnus Smedegaard's managed to jump all of us by going for the undercut in the pits. It's all right, we made it, we made it. Now the car come back on track very dangerously and really put you into the barrier and broke your brake. All right, geez, yeah, that was the, the cause of the, the brake pedal breakage. Be able to submit that in the morning. DB to the stewards. Yeah, they'll, they'll see it then. Oh, okay, okay, easy on the brakes, easy on the brakes, easy on the brakes. Get away from the barrier, get away from the barrier. Okay. Ah. 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 Okay. Incident clear, green flag. Ah. Car right. Oh. You're on the left. Three All right, dudes. Right, Come on. Clear. On the right. Three wide, you're on the left. I mean, all right, fair dues. Yeah, I was a slow-moving car, but that doesn't mean that you could just pump me off the track, man. Fuck's sake. What lap is this? Green flag. Sector one is clear. Car left. <laughs> clear left. They're still racing for position, man. Like, just because I lived back onto the track, they were plenty far behind me. I was already on the track before they were even on. The same bit of tarmac as me, they were still a corner behind. They definitely saw me in plain view. I know they were busy battling, but I don't mean you could just drive through me, man. What lap are we on? Can anyone see on my uh, Motec what lap we're on? Because uh, I can't see from here, I'm afraid. Sector 2 is clear, Sector 3 is yellow. Yellow flag. Flight, you're clear. Lap 13. Thanks, Anna. Of course, it's lap 13. <laughs> Been a passenger there. Make it back to fifteenth at least. Join in the street, but I'm doing terribly. <laughs> uh, welcome, man. Thanks for joining in. If you have missed the top of the stream, we are racing at the WTCR 2019 cars around Suzuka Grand Prix circuit in Japan. This is a race hosted by the wonderful folks at RR Leagues. 
I believe this is round six of eight. So getting through the season now, going into the final few races. Of both the WTCR Championship and the GT3 Masters. Uh, we qualified P14 this evening. Started the first race at P14. I believe we finished P12 in the first race after some awesome battling for the entirety of that race. Didn't quite make it. We thought we were holding 11 for quite a long time. Thought we might make it into the top 10 for that reverse grid for the second race. But it just wasn't to be. Started off fairly well again in this race. Managed to make a pretty good pit stop. After a little mistake, cost me a few positions. He's racing with Clive and Jim. Made that pit stop. Unfortunately, had that mistake. We've got a slow moving car here. That's, yeah, well deduced there from that car. That some cars on the road there. But best not to rejoin. Um, yeah. I uh, managed to jump Jim in the pits, made a stupid mistake all by myself, went wide. Um, crashed into the, the crash pad barriers. Thankfully didn't damage the car. And upon returning, was uh, pushed off the track by two battling cars from behind. And so yeah, that's where we're at. Still having fun though. Still battle with these dudes back here. Of course, I do want to try and make up some positions, but we'll see with only nine minutes on the clock. Don't know how feasible that'll be, but I'm going to try. P15 or shirt itself. <laughs> Seems fair. Get your big boy pants on. <laughs> Nah, no damage, I'm okay. I don't think I've got any flat spots as well, so... Go away quite luckily with that. I think 17th is more reasonable, because at least I can see 17th, you know? Oh no wait, that's not even 17th in front. That's a back marker. The next car in front of this car is 7.5 seconds on the road, so... How is that for you guys? It's all right. Woo! These two overtaking maneuvers I've done through that chicane that I've been pretty happy with. Thanks, Manu. You should have seen the one in the, the first race, speed kills, uh, when I uh, overtook Tong Karhonen. Round the outside, all the way through, side by side, in that chicane. Yeah. It was a good one. And as you would, fast boys catching right up now, P20, but only two positions behind me, so... I'm to try and not make any silly mistakes and try and keep the pace up. I'm not really sure what I'm lapping at just now. I'm just kind of doing whatever I can. That move was on TV! Woo -woo. Nice, man. That is a nice feeling. <laughs> hey, man. Want to show the grandkids, eh? Ah, there was this one time I was racing in RR leagues. I remember it like it was yesterday. We were we'll racing in the front wheel drive monsters at Suzuka. <laughs> oh! Fucking hell. I was just concentrating. So, yeah, uh, back marker up ahead. Albertini, eight and a half seconds up ahead. Ricky Bobby Binnersley in P15, 10 right, seconds Jack. ahead. Next car is Albertini. Uh, 
Is, uh, is Rick streaming tonight? Does anyone know if Rick's streaming? Simeon behind. I have to keep an eye on my rearview mirror here. He's dead to me, so you don't know. <laughs> The up and under is always really satisfying. <laughs> ah, the filth chat. <laughs> it's been a little while. He ain't streaming by the looks of things. That's a shame. Thanks, Slow Dog, for having a look for me. That is not the lane I want. Oh, sh shit, man. I just got the run over here. Left side. Just gonna have to absolutely He's claim this there. middle bit of tarmac to give him as shallow a lane as possible. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Great move, Nigel. <laughs> Car right. Oh, I had it covered very well going into that. Shake the Casino Triangle. Fair play, Nigel. Fair play. That was fucking amazing. <laughs> Absolutely wild, man. Oh, that was good stuff, dude. Three and a half minutes left. <laughs> Shit, man. Alright, if any of you haven't given this video a thumbs up, surely that move from Nigel was worth that thumbs up. Do it. Do it. That was amazing, man. What a move. What a move. Man in the Julietta. What, uh, were you just running the Julietta like default setup or are you, did you go ham on the springs and the dampers? Oh shit, it's a terrible line. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Alright, it's gonna be one or two more laps. And then that is us for the evening, folks. Let's see if I can keep it in front of Simeon behind. Nine just a little bit deep there into Casino Triangle. See, it was on a couple laps. Uh, fresh tires, two or three laps, I think. Who's his name? Right? Yeah, man. Oh, 
I must admit, when this race first started, and be battling for what seemed like an eternity, only to glance up at the time remaining, and it was still over 35 minutes, I was a bit like, oh, pff, man, this is going to be a long-ass race. But, to be honest, it flew by. It's absolutely flown by. This whole evening, this whole event has absolutely flown by. It's been really, really good fun. A really, really nice combo, actually. Really, really nice combo. plenty of meat on these tires for the end of this stint. Maybe it would have been faster overall, safer overall if I had pit maybe a lap or two earlier, but we wouldn't have had that epic overtake the undercut in the pits of uh, Jim if we had done that. We wouldn't have had the epic pass by Nigel Wood through 130R. I wouldn't have got that epic up and under on Simeon as well. A few laps ago. I'm glad it panned out the way it did. Hard on the brakes. I think we're going to be going around one more time. Thanks, you see, man. That was really nice of you to say. <laughs> Yeah, Suzuka's great, man. It's so many different uh, classes as well. I'm still seeing that Cooper's ass in the windscreen. Yellow flag. Oh! Oh, it's not over yet! Keep it in here! We're going round, boys! We're going round! P16? What? P17. Who's this in front? Oh, it's still that back marker. We're going to see what we can do with Nigel Wood behind us now. He's made that mistake on the very final lap of the race. Can we hang on to it? It ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. Are oh, we gonna find ourselves in that similar situation? He's already got the run on me up here, already done up curve. Not a great place to be overtaking us, I don't think he'll make the move here. Just gonna have to get my defense on, that's a little bit wide there. Luckily I got a half decent X out of there under the tunnel. Gonna have to defend the inside. of the hairpin for dear life. Oh, I got much better X out of the hairpin than Nigel did. He'll be kicking himself. The checker flag is out. Confirmation this is the final lap. Oh my God, the car in front is Houdini. Did not want to be running into the gravel there. Just held on to it, and it looks like I got a pretty good exit as well. So I don't think that dude is going to be able to make the move here. Nine just too far back to be making a move here. Oh no 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 no! no. Kept two tires in. Kept two tires in. I swear. Oh my god, he's right there! <laughs> no! Oh my god! <laughs> ah, what a race! Nigel, he didn't send him a PM. Hey, Ma! Hey, That's Ma! <laughs> well done, mate. Woo! Thanks, man. That was totally amazing. <laughs> 0.041 seconds difference as we cross the line. Absolute amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> Thanks, Jazz man. Cheers, dude. Ah, uh, molto bene. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Thanks, you see. Is that some type of pasta? Molto bene, no, ma. <laughs> molto bene. Molto bene means very good. Very, very good. So there we go, Stoffmill. No surprise again, man. Uh, winner, congratulations. Both races won by Mike Stoffmill. Well deserved by him, man. That was, um. That was some good stuff. Let's uh, let's get ourselves into the uh, the paradigm shift chat and see what people have got safe for themselves. Folks, if you did enjoy the stream, give it a thumbs up. It'd be much appreciated. If you do, uh, if you are enjoying this and you want to see more in the future as well, consider subscribing. That'd be cool, man. Go a stream on Saturday, stream on Sunday, and a stream on uh, Wednesday as well. <laughs> got a message back from Nigel Wood there. Epic, more like. Uh, great Jack, really enjoyed that one. Thanks Andre Parks, my man. Much appreciated. Gonna jump into that paradigm shift. Chat DB, see if anyone- oh, he's gone already. He's already left me. Ricky Bobby! Hello. He's gone, for a, he's gone for a piss. He's gone for a piss. Right, great. Alright, DB then. Bloody... break problems, eh? What the hell? Ah, oh, I've got it. Hang on. Uh, are you streaming still? Yeah, I'm streaming. I'll show you after. Yeah, yeah, I'm streaming still. All right, okay. I thought you were gonna badmouth yeah, someone, but yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, I can, I can if you want. <laughs> I mean, you know, a bit of friendly uh, competition is like it's always welcome, man. So. No, but what um, what happened? You basically somebody had a, a dodgy track re-entry for you. Uh, on went through 130R with someone quite. I was quite close to the back of it. Thanks, Jod, man. See you on Sunday, man. Completely off the like fucking Thank you, miles Jazz. off the track. <laughs> so far off the track, he could have put his feet up and had a cup of tea. Damn. And then he decided to come back on in the braking zone, directly in front of me, while there was like four cars in front of us braking. Wow. That's yeah. all I've got to say about that. Exactly. Yeah, right, Jack. Yeah, Nigel, man, that was amazing, dude. That overtake you got me on the 130R was out of this world, man. Good shit, Nidge. Cheers, mate. I've had a bad fucking race tonight. Me too, man. Yeah, well, too. there was, yeah, yeah, I definitely expected to see you further up. I think you didn't get a qualifying lap in, eh? Or, like, you didn't get a, a good quality lap in? No, I didn't get a good quality in, and then I got wiped out by Jim. Oh. Uh oh. Proper white me out. Was that yeah. in the, was that we in the second race? To... Sorry. Was that in the second race, Nedge? Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, man, that sucks. That's a shame. Well, if it didn't happen, you wouldn't have got that epic overtake on me, man, so. I know, that was great. Well, I didn't <laughs> think I was going to make it, though. <laughs> it was awesome, man. Mate, the first, the, the, the first race, the start of the first race, me and you got a great start, Nedge. We flew through the pack. And I had to go around outside, did you see me? Yeah, you know, man. Glass and everything. Oh, what, when in the hairpin? No, when I first start, started, first race. I, oh, I didn't see what, on the start-finish straight? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I didn't see that. I was on the inside. But through the S's, that was epic. I'm warm, was, like, man. two car wide. I'm right? warm. It was a train of about <laughs> 12 cars, two car wide. <laughs> That's when you just stay open and praying that no one touches you. Yeah, touches you in the wrong place. <laughs> the, the wrong place. Inappropriately. Inappro yeah. Inappropriately in the wrong place. Rick, how's it going, man? Uh, oh. We should not speak about tonight's races. We should not speak. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Facey wrong way. <laughs> Mr. Facey wrong way, okay. Damn. You can tell me after the stream, man. You can, you can give us the lowdown. But uh, you're free from uh, COVID-19, though? Yeah? You can keep him well? Keep him healthy? Yeah, keeping me pecker up, mate. Good, <laughs> good to hear, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear, man. And um, the people's champion. What to you? Me? You mean what happened yeah. to me? I have fucking two blinding races, mate. No, I, uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I had a really fun night's nice racing, man. You know, I'm not, I'm definitely not the quickest in these. I'm like very much mid pack in the WTCRs, but yes, amazing racing, man. They, these cars always bring super close, super competitive racing. Um, I think I got, um, yeah, qualified P4, 
14, finished P12 in the first race. Almost made it into that top 10, but it was like the competition was like mad, mad quick and like really aggressive in the first race. It was good though, it was good fun. And in the second race, um, I made my I made a, a mistake um, after the the pit stops and um, came it was just before going under the bridge came back on the track there was two cars battling behind me but they were like plenty far behind and then approaching the uh, the hairpin I, I, I hugged the inside the left hand side and uh, they were battling and they I don't know I don't know if they thought it was a back marker or what but they wiped me out so yeah, I, I saw that yeah so um, oh, you had an incident with him as well uh, <laughs> so uh yeah so uh, yeah I, I basically went to the barrier there as well didn't have any damage thankfully but um had some awesome racing af afterwards but yeah i think it was p i don't know battling for p18 at the end there so p17 17 there we go so yeah i had a good good fun racing but um yeah just wgcr madness man you know how it is it's it's nuts yeah it is a bit Good fun though, good combo, eh? Like, I really like yeah. that combo. It was like, yeah, really nice. Um, really, really nice. Um, I don't know what, if you guys did anything to the setup, but I, I, I pumped the dampers up a bit, man, just to level out the car with all the undulations, and like, it, it seemed to work a treat, to be honest. It's sketchy going into the first car, all right? Yeah, but like the most fun. <laughs> just like, yeah, the, the, it felt like the rear end of the car was just like, floating like going through the first couple corners and it was all amount of just perfectly balancing like the, the rear end as to not uh break it loose but um to go fast enough that you weren't being uh, too reserved so did everybody else get the levitating cars at the start of race two yeah that was so funny <laughs> so funny man um i'm just gonna ask the people's champ if we're if we're gonna get a couple of words from him uh, on stream or not uh, people's champ are you there oh no that's a no that's a that's a that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a firm no 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 i mean first the first race is a road in your chat uh jack i mean yeah i, had Andre I, and gentlemen. <laughs> I decided <laughs> to get it out with my left hand uh, during the first corner so <laughs> it's not a good idea to, to drive these cars through the first corner with only one hand so was it I, your right hand that you had in your eye <laughs> I totally, I totally hit the barrier, so my engine was toast, beaked. Oh, it was beaked. And, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> and then the second race, it was okay. I mean, uh, I, uh, I recognized that uh, that what you were saying, Danny, that people were taking the outer line in. Uh, how do you call it? Yeah. Exactly, and then just think. That they are allowed back on track without yeah you've got being... you've got to ease off man if you go out there of you've got course to ease off. of course you have to get on the track safely again no exactly it happened to me in race one as well um i can't remember who it was but you know the bit just before the bridge where you, just after you got Joel, just uh, before you got yeah. out my yeah there someone come on the track there which made me no. compromise my line and swerve and lose a couple of attempts but yeah, I uh, I enjoyed it. It was uh, yeah. okay. <laughs> the result is bad, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm definitely not good in these I'm stuff. I'm the same. I'm man. gonna post a picture of my um, brake rubber that failed. Oh yeah, do that. Post it in the I Discord, will. man. That'd be sweet. I will. I'll post it. It's te it's terrible. It's torn into two pieces. <laughs> what That's the fuck? What happened? It's got, it's got really uh, muscular legs. I can't show legs. it yet because Jack's still streaming, but I've got a replay <laughs> to show. Um, and I had to brake very hard. Um, um, my brake rubber completely failed and snapped into two pieces. And then my brake went further than it's registered to. <laughs> so then for the rest of the race, well, the rest of the race until I quit, my brake was on like, what, 17%? <laughs> But the whole time. <laughs> but ho Stupid. hold on, hold on. You're talking about the the physical brakes yeah, from Fanatec. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, no. I'm using the um, BBJ. He sent me some uh, uh, experimental yeah. things, but he said uh, he'd run them for 20 hours, and I've barely run them for 20 hours. And this is not an ad. <laughs> it's not a sponsored video. This is video. not an ad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if anything, this is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. Yeah. No. Don't. 
fire. <laughs> Amazing. Um, thanks for uh, thanks for the chat, guys. I'm just gonna sign off the stream. I'll jump back in the chat. Um, great See speaking you stream. with you all. <laughs> thanks, guys. Cheers. Bye. You next time. Mad. Uh, there we go. Um, that is us. That was the post race debate. And uh, what a debate it was. No, no sponsorship confirmed for BPG. <laughs> um, but yeah, hey, I mean, you know, sometimes products break. Sometimes, um, you know, I mean, these things that we're talking about, folks, are like super cheap. So like, they ain't ever gonna last, you know? I mean, we all brace you know, multiple times throughout the week uh, with practice and all that stuff as well, you know. We're an enthusiastic bunch, man. We stamp on the pedals, we grab the steering wheels, we, you know, we do the thing. Um, so yeah, for, you know, for cheap products like that, they're they're not built to last, you know. That's just the way it is. But hey, there we go. Amazing stream tonight. Um, really, really enjoyed myself. Thanks everyone in chat. Really, really enjoyed um, you guys being here. The company, the laughs, the tears, the... The, the good times and the bad times. It was a beautiful thing. Um, epic to hear the stories from everyone else. Everyone seemed to have quite an eventful race. Um, yeah, tales of woe, tales of success. It was a beautiful thing. Um, thanks to yeah, everyone for uh, for watching again. I really, really appreciate it. The next stream from me is going to be on Saturday. Um, I've got a four, four-man team um, event. So myself, Andre Bergsma, who's in the chat. Uh, Ricky Bobby Binnersley and Andre Moll, we are Team Paradigm Shift and uh, we're going to be racing for our chance to compete in a 12-hour race in Assetto Corsa Competizione. Um, so that's going to be on uh, on Saturday. I'm going to be streaming live as well. Um, regular sort of time, I think, or it might actually be a little bit earlier, but yeah, I'm just going to be in there anyway. So all the details I will be sure to post in the um, in the, the Paradigm Shift Discord. Um, if anybody wants to join, link is in the description below. Um, just click on that and come and join. That's my Discord server. Um, I'll post the deets in there. But yeah, I'll be streaming that on Saturday, um, early, early evening. And then on Sunday, we have uh, round six of eight in the GT3 Masters, um, where I'm driving in the AMG GT3 car with my teammate Andre Bergsma. Uh, around Spa, Franck Rochamp, that should be epic, man. That's an hour and 40 minute race. Uh, the race on Saturday in ACC is a two hour race where we have to make um, three driver swaps. So each of the four of our team are, is going to just be doing a, a half an hour stint so we're all going to get a little shot in the car sharing the same car and we're actually racing around suzuka as well but different simulator should be super good fun uh thank you anna thank you simon thank you andre bergsma and thank you jazz forsberg um it's been a pleasure um and th yeah thanks jazz and simon um again just the two of uh, a larger group of uh, of folks behind the scenes at our leagues thank you very much for hosting tonight and looking forward to sunday as well it will be epic um i'll see all you guys on saturday thanks for tuning in peace bye